Hi, I'm Marsha Guffey for the Main Street Creative Corridor where the City of Little Rock is teaming up once again with the Arkansas Natural Resources Commission to do a water quality demonstration project. This time on the six and 700 blocks of Main Street. We're going to show you some of the features that have been completed and some that are still under construction. In a couple of weeks, we'll come back with a finished product. Low impact development is an approach to land development that uses a more natural way to manage rainwater. Low impact development uses things like the rain gardens and permeable pavers shown here to help slow, filter, infiltrate, and evaporate the runoff that comes from rain. The Main Street project is being funded by a grant from the Arkansas Natural Resources Commission. The ultimate goal of the project is to show how water quality can be improved by using construction methods that handle rainwater runoff more naturally. Improving the quality of the rainwater as it runs off the street is important because it ultimately winds up in the rivers and streams of the natural state. Here in the 600 block of Main Street by the Arkansas Repertory Theater, permeable pavers are being used to slow and filter the runoff including in this large area that doubles as a drop-off for patrons of the Rep. A light garden of recycled streetlights will help illuminate and beautify the drop-off area. Most of the drains being used in the 600 and 700 blocks, as well as earlier project areas on Main Street, are a backup line of defense in case the rain comes down too hard and fast for the rain gardens to filter. The 6 and 700 blocks of Main Street use two types of filter systems not used elsewhere. This drain in the rain garden uses a fabric filter to catch trash and debris. This larger drain uses two chambers, one filled with sand to trap trash and debris. The round drain cover will be removed periodically to clean out the sand filter. The rain gardens are a first line of defense against water pollution that comes from cars. When a car's engine is running, it gives off chemicals such as nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide. These chemicals can change the pH of waterways and soils and can harm the organisms that rely on these resources. Also, tiny particles of metal and soot come from the exhaust and can wind up in the water. Additionally, fluids such as motor oil, antifreeze, brake fluids, and others can be leaked onto the roadway and wind up in the water. The rain gardens are specially constructed with a series of different sizes of gravel and dirt plus fabric filters to catch pollutants such as these that the rain washes off buildings and streets, in addition to trash like cigarette butts. The plants in the rain gardens have been specially chosen because they can stand both wet and dry climate conditions. A vegetative wall is planned for this space in the 700 block. This kind of wall helps absorb street noise and cleans up air pollutants like carbon dioxide given off by cars traveling in the area. Because plants had a hard time attaching to the vegetative wall in the 200 block, a new type is planned for the 700 block. We don't know what it will look like, but shown here are vegetative walls that have been used elsewhere. The echo mesh panels to be used can support a variety of plants and vines. It will clean and cool the air by absorbing carbon dioxide, heavy metal particles, and other emissions that result from automobile exhaust. The trellis system will also help buffer winds and sounds and help regulate air temperature. The 700 block will use the same kinds of rain gardens, plants, and other systems that are used elsewhere along Main Street. Phase two of the Main Street water quality demonstration project will be finished soon. Stay tuned for a look at the final product.